Parliament hereby strongly condemn the decision by Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib Raza to prosecute Datuk Amiga and Bursay 2.0 Steering Committee for damages done by others who include agent provocateurs. Till now, except for the case of 25-year-old Mohamed Safwan Mamad, where he was beaten up in an attempt to extract a confession, when Safwan went to the police station voluntarily, the police have not ascertained who damaged the police vehicles, but are already bringing a civil suit against Zatu Amiga and the Brasil 2.0 committee to seek 122,000 RM in special damages for 15 police vehicles damaged during the protest, including two water cannon trucks. It is also not transparent how the damages have been assessed in the first place because there were no witnesses from both parties. Could it be possible that some damages have been further done to the vehicles in order to create a bigger loss? Going further, instead of pursuing a civil suit or pressing charges on the civil society movement, the government should focus on the eight demands of Bursay. Kaadilan calls on Najib to focus on the eight demands of Bursay the 2.0 steering committee and ensure that all resources are focused on cleaning up the electoral room and to make the electoral room foolproof against any forms of cheating. After all, these people are doing a national service without being asked to be put, to be put on an already bloated government payroll. Kadilan calls on upon Prime Minister Najib to clean up the electoral room before the next general election and deal with the other issues such as gerrymandering and malapportion mal malapportionment to ensure that we have a clean and fair election. Both the Chairman and Deputy Chairman of the Electoral Commission should be asked to design to pave the way for a new team who can work closely with the civil society to ensure the electoral process is foolproof. Thank you. Any questions? No question. Message is very clear.